So hello to all of you, wherever you may be, from the Juventus Stadium in the Alpine city of Turin. And our live game is Juventus against Real Madrid. I'm Peter Drury, and seated in the experts' hot seat is our man Jim Beglin. Hi everyone, and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. Juventus line up in a 4-3-3. Well, in this formation, the wide players can be the most attacking and sometimes a pair of extra fullbacks. So it's away we go then. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Gareth Bale for me has got to be the, the standout man. Uh, renowned for his great pace, he also has a, a crack at shooting range, better than most, and, and he takes a, a very good free kick too. His passing quality, I think that's up there with the best as well, and he's a pretty complete and, and quite phenomenal package. I think the opposition defence agreed too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. Carver help tried to play it through. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! That's unlucky, just wouldn't come down. Oh, how close was that to going in? It only required the smallest of tweaks. Juventus are doing all the attacking and they've played some good football to boot. Sergio Ramos. Modric. Tries a through ball. Cut out in the nick of time. Looks like a good ball through. And here's the chance to counter. Steered out wide. Douglas Costa will try cutting inside here. Massive leap! Goal! Juventus! What a super header. Dispatched beautifully. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Real Madrid trail at this early stage. How will they respond? Benzema, now the pass. He's got options out wide. Just deflected over the goal line for a corner. Douglas Costa knocks it away. It's on a plate. Oh, full-blooded challenge, and it had to be. And now the breakaway. It's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, great save, real class. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Danger averted for now. And it's Kadira. Can he finish? Bale. Dinks one in. Dinks in. Now it's Benzema. There's no flag. He's left his man. Benatia plays it forward. Aimed long and direct.
Pjanic looks to slip it through Keilo Navas deals with it effortlessly just to point out Peter that the full backs are quite high and what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Alexandro. Bale goes looking. Benzema. And he's so... It's Benzema! That really should have hit the net. OK, it's come to nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. It's Iguain. Dybala. Now he's wondering who wants it. So they got the only goal to make it 1 0. Isco. And now they can launch a counter. Benzema passes it through. Going through. Forward it goes. Bale unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. He's had a go! Kadira. Cooks out to the wing. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase it goes for... It's hit the upright. Time to deliver. Can he put it away? Modric tries to get it forward quickly. Isco. Tony Kroos with a long pass out wide. Lichtsteiner positions himself well and cuts it out. Steered forward. Kadira. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Reflections on the first half. Juventus haven't played that badly. Getting caught again on the counter-attack is unlikely. They're switched on to that and still very much in this game. Juventus having to have the lead in a tight old game. Half-time, 1-0. And we are already promptly back on the way. Juventus carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Douglas Costa. He's got the ball glued to his feet. Pjanic. He'll have a dip! Pjanic quickly realised that he could have a pop. Not his best. Stitch defending, but that'll do. Fires from distance. Just too much. Fractions. Pjanic nearly produced a moment of magic. He knew the strike was pure. And it's Neymar. Just brushed off the ball there. Well, it's a poor throw that, picked off with relative ease. Benatia. Goes wide. Ronaldo looking to get on the end of this. Keeps everyone guessing. Cristiano Ronaldo. Looking for a decent ball in, and the finish! He scores! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! That is just remarkable, the amount of bend he got on that. Yeah, and it's not a surprise to see him elect to shoot from there, considering how much movement can be generated on the ball. Great hit!
Juventus take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Has a swing at it! A whisker high! That's just plain unlucky. There were many, me included, who thought that was going in. Tony Kroos. Alexandro gets it back. Cristiano Ronaldo! They are rampant! Surely now, beyond all doubt. Juventus are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Oh, he's been unstoppable in this match. Every single time he's been in possession, he's looked a threat. without reply this is becoming a stroll keeper goes long uh, the ball needed to be better there it's a wasted chance whistle's gone just offside well he now knows that he has to lock in the timing success and failure depends on it out on the left now could go all the way here driving on he could shoot it shoots no poor contact nothing on the shot Alexandro certainly showed terrific balance and control to go past his markers but not with the finish Benzema played out to the wing Marcelo into the box Aimed long and direct, and it's Iguain. Tries a through ball. Crunching tackle. Benzema, and now the breakaway. Real Madrid are keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a concern. The shot's on! World-class Karim Benzema! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. So is this the start of a comeback? Speculative strike. And that would have won it. Pjanic should really have closed the game out then, and this could come back to haunt him. Oh, he really wanted that. Yeah, and you can feel and hear how the crowd are reacting to all of this. Marcelo goes up and over, he's got away, Benzema, that's one way of trying to make things happen, there's a few who could follow that example. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted, there was just way too much pressure. It's Benzema! Call at his mercy and somehow he's missed it.
Oh, it's so very disappointing, but they can't dwell on it. They've got to go again. Simple as. Lichtsteiner boots it to safety. Lichtsteiner goes looking. Brought forward. What does he try from here? Now a chance to break. Looking to force his way through. Douglas Costa. Can he shoot? Chooses to go back. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Pjanic. Plays it out to the wing. A throw in Pjanic and he's there to cut it out Isco Neymar Benzema spreads it towards the left Neymar, Real Madrid could have here their final chance. Goes for goal! Good stop, that wasn't easy. The keeper really dug out his... And that is that. Juventus always looked the more driven side, probably the better side and nobody is arguing about the results. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Yeah, looking back on this, the early goal had a big influence on what unfolded and allowed them to dictate with comfort.